Hello and welcome to the 25th episode of my Crusader Kings 2 The Old Gods gameplay. Last time we had a uh, Great Holy War for Germany and it ended actually pretty well. We didn't have any problems at all, more or less. The war was over in 5 months. Uh, the Great Holy War is, as you know, the Crusade of, uh, Crusade of the Pagans. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. That'll probably be uh, a decade or two, perhaps three even, before we can use it again. Once we can use it again, I believe... Uh, Depending on how Leon progresses on uh, the Spanian Isle or here, if they actually are capable of uh, taking Andalusia, I will declare a great holy war for uh, it on Leon. On uh, as you can see, Andalusia has lands down here too, so I might actually declare a great holy war for Andalusia on uh, these guys, and uh, then just. Uh, Holy War for uh, Holy War Leon for the rest of the uh, Empire of Hispania, and as you can see, we're now preparing to uh, declare war on other people. This this guy, among others, had war with uh, King of Lotharingia and the King of Estrancia. My guys will probably take these small counties. Burgundy is uh, a target. As I said, I want to consolidate Aquitaine and Burgundy. West Francia, and then I'll also declare a great holy war for Italy later. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And here in the east is basically uh, try and take Hungary, and I believe I'm preparing for that. These guys have been a pain in the house to deal with, they're running all over the place, so I'm just hunting them down right now. And here in Russia, my guys have been expanding, so I can't really stop them, but. Hopefully they won't go overboard and uh, create an independence rebel. So that's too big for me to handle. I believe even taking this land along with Hungary can be uh, a bit of a stretch, but uh, hopefully it will work out. So now that the rebels have been uh, dealt with, yeah, I believe I'll just uh, go ahead and declare war on them. I believe I yeah I don't have truce, so that's okay. Let's see what do we want to declare war for. We will. Uh, I'll actually just go ahead and take Thames first, then Transylvania, and then these guys, because apparently it seems that these guys have a tendency to rise up in uh, revolts. So uh, we'll declare a great holy war for uh, Thames. No, sorry, not great holy war, just a regular holy war. Slip of tongue. Uh, and we'll also declare a conquest against this guy, since he actually is uh, on his own. So uh, that should work like, okay. Germany have few provinces here and there that I'll probably take, but uh, I still have a truce with those guys, so we'll have to wait until uh, that ends. 11, 10, 8 more years. Yeah, it's a bit of a waiting time, but still. I'll probably also uh, try and take Sicily from uh, the Byzantines. There's actually a king down here, the king of Turica, so that could also get interesting. Still, it's only three or four wars, three holy wars, yeah, against uh, the Byzantines to take uh, Sicily down here, so that will probably probably happen. I'm still a little uncertain what to do with uh, this this guy who uh, went his own little invasion of Africa, so uh, we'll see how I'll deal with that later. I had my hopes up for my son that he would actually be capable of uh, taking over. There are probably a lot of lots of guys with better stats. This guy certainly has them, so uh, yeah, he will not be doing that. I will probably hand him one of the counties here, though, to get rid of the unlanded sun penalty. Even though it's pretty much so small, it doesn't really matter, since I gained 27 prestige a month, along with uh, just uh, 077 PD. So uh, yeah, that could get uh, interesting. Pre PD ain't really a problem either, since I mostly gain it through, uh, through wars. And that's basically how I uh, believe it will uh, continue to be. And as you can see, I don't really have uh, any problem on the general side either. Pretty good generals for these guys, so they don't really won't really meet any obstacles later on. And also, as you can see, the archer retinue here is not having any problems at all when it comes to sieging, which makes them so incredibly good uh, readers in this game. You just send them and they solve the problem for you, more or less. I should probably have sent these guys here. 
Even though it won't be a problem for the heavy infantry unit if uh, if these three armies actually converge here. But if those three armies had attacked the archers, they would probably lose. They're basically just uh, meant to take down smaller armies and uh, and do some sieges. The army that's meant to be actually doing the fighting is this one. And uh, as you can see, it's quite effective at what it does. 600 men lost on my side for 12,000 of theirs. Yeah, it's a bit overpowered really, so... Yeah, I still don't want to give up, but still, it's how uh, it's how you got to play the game, basically. And still, as I said, when it comes to raiding, these guys are the best thing ever, especially when you have them in large numbers. You can just <laughs> you can just siege it like that, and also Europeans doesn't have a thousand or two thousand men back behind their force. They just have uh, five, six, eight hundred mostly. So. An army of 10,000 can do very well in England and Ireland when it comes to raiding. Also you can take them down to uh, Venice or Amalfi. Trace and uh, Constantinople are also good places to raid. You don't even have to siege and they hold 50 each I believe. So can't really complain there. And with that this war against the Seljuks is over. It's not really a challenge anymore. So uh, that's kind of boring. But still. It's how you gotta play the game, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. As I want to say, show you possible loot 71 without sieging, max loot 187. So I'm actually tempted to uh, take a boat down here and uh, try and siege it just to see how much I'll gain. I'll probably do it too, just for uh, fun. So these guys, I'll send them here, send them to raid uh, the Byzantine uh, capital. I'll need some ships. <laughs> to store the gold should be more than enough so I'll just uh, go ahead and get my troops in position and then I'll get back to you just got my troops in position so uh, let's see how well they actually can do against uh, highly fortified pro <laughs> provinces like the Thracian ones as you can see they don't really have any problems at least against uh, Thrace but uh, could get interesting to see how it works in Constantinople itself 127 from uh, that city and Yeah, I forgot about the other war of mine. Probably should pay a little bit more attention here. Still, can't really say I'm worried. I basically have to kill his army, then it's won. Still, a bitch that Francia joined, so uh, hopefully they won't uh, <laughs> bother me anymore while I do this. Uh, let's see. 127 and 85, so we basically have 200 and uh, something. 67 and 127 so nearly 400 and boom as you can see I can by <laughs> just the seizing these three I can get tons of money without even uh, <coughs> without even trying more or less so yeah this one will be uh, interesting enough so uh, yeah that gig guy gave up I'll simply wait to hand out the counties and wait till, uh, till the siege timer is down then we'll try to siege and see how it goes and uh, yeah that's that's that basically. We're just about now ready to uh, start sieging uh, Constantinople and as you can see I nearly didn't lo lose any men doing that so we'll just uh, we'll just continue. So you see you gain a lot of money and all of this is going to the boat so I actually don't have to do any uh, Mats myself. Once these guys actually want you to uh, have them abdicate titles, I just uh, I just say no. I will not have a part of it. If they want to, uh, at least if my realm is stable, if it is a guy that is dangerous, then uh, I will perhaps join. But mostly I don't join because it really isn't worth it in most cases to get. Uh, bother up in uh, your vassal's business so uh, let's now see how much I actually made from that as you can see siege in Constantinople alone gave me 910 gold so yeah and probably lost about 50 f at most for uh, retinue uh, retinue boost afterwards so 
can't really complain about that. Gold, prestige. Yeah. If you use rating like this, prestige and gold are the least of your concerns. So uh, I would advise everyone who can to create archer retinues simply for rating. And if you have the mercenaries that. Uh, if you actually can rely on mercenaries, you should probably have uh, much of your retinue into. Uh, into archer guys but as of now I will uh, I have two more or less siege retinues the defense retinue and the archer retinue I'll create one more house call retinue simply uh, to protect myself from uh, from the horde once it arrives so uh, yeah that's that and uh, I don't know what else to do really but I won't create it right now I believe I will create a uh, as I said, a uh, a house call retinue, but uh, I have to think about it a bit, a little bit. I only have, uh, yeah. What do I actually have of mercenaries? Let's see, mercenaries. They're all hired by my guys, it seems. So yeah, no, these guys are hired by something else. So. I can't really uh, rely on mercenaries because they're only t 10 units and they don't have that many men. I'm pretty sure that these, this guy actually has as many men as all the units combined. As you can see I have my own pretty good <laughs> mercenaries on my own so to speak so I'm not really worried. I can raise, uh, how many men can I raise? 362,000. <laughs> Should be more than enough to take down the Doomstack. And I will also create another uh, House Call Retinue or perhaps even a Defense Retinue simply because uh, they are decent at fighting but they aren't great. They aren't at the level of uh, these guys. So I'll probably send in the, have these guys take the initial blow and then send in uh, the rest to deal with it. But for now, I will simply be uh, be continuing raiding and wait for uh, the next opportunity to call wars. Basically, that's basically the plan. Also, my guy is getting old, so I should probably save up a bit of cash to uh, be able to deal with anyone that actually want to try and uh, try and revolt afterwards. These guys are actually, uh, yeah, I lost a lot of men there. So raiding the Seljuks uh, here is actually more difficult than uh, taking down the capital of uh, the Byzantine Empire. As you can see, these others aren't really that uh, profitable. It's mostly just these two. I haven't checked much of the others as I don't use boats anymore. So yeah, I'll probably raid Constantinople again in two years. I believe that is uh, that is the uh, cooldown for the raiding. Yeah, or perhaps it's three years. Three years it seems. So uh, in three years we'll raid uh, Constantinople again. This guy is actually uh, revolting against uh, the Romanians. So we actually did do a conquest. Actually forgot to set uh, these guys to uh, raid mode. So uh, I'll do that once I've uh, actually made the conquest for uh, this county here. I'll probably just conquest everything because. Uh, it is the easiest way to actually uh, gain counties without having to resort to holy wars. Holy wars also cause <laughs> cost PD, so yeah, I'd hope to avoid that as long as it's uh, possible. One siege should probably be enough. Yep, war one didn't even break a sweat, so yeah. I'll probably just uh, use this opportunity to start raiding the guys from Lorraine. I can actually ra raid all of the provinces, as you can see. So yeah, this guy, will, these guys will probably just go in circle, go in a circle here, 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 and here. And depending on how long they actually use, uh, I'll have to see if uh, I have to uh, send them, <laughs> send them perhaps in. Uh, a bigger circle so to speak. I'll have to see. I'm still a little bit surprised that these uh, two are still independent, that they haven't been taken by uh, my guy in Toulouse. Still, could get interesting. These guys are currently sieging up here, saving up money, upgrading uh, pretty much everything I can. 
and basically think things are going a little bit too well and usually when it does, does that I get one hell of a setback later on so should be interesting and hopefully it will happen it, it will make the game more interesting and uh, perhaps a little bit less boring just started some upgrades here started some upgrades for the cities in uh, my capital as you see the one there was actually uh, fully upgraded so I should probably invest in uh, some city tax so they can actually upgrade it but uh, I have to wait I have too few points I don't really have anything to invest in now legalism is uh, as I said my next uh, point here just about 70 away 75 I believe so yeah also started the construction of a new city so I'm, <laughs> I'm poor right now along with uh, a university here I believe yeah so just spent 2000, uh, 2000 gold on that but uh, as I said, I will upgrade cities in all of these and build uh, universities. Also build uh, r two remaining holdings up here and uh, yeah, that's basically the plan. To achieve this I will be raiding a lot, as you perhaps know. And uh, still, I don't really think I should have any problems with uh, achieving it. And uh, I just have to check when it's not next time. I'm an 06 and this guy. Yeah, okay, it's probably around the same. So in a year or two, I'll probably declare another holy war on these guys. Just get them some more down in size. And Leon has apparently gotten themselves into a uh, claim war, I believe. Yep. Along with... Uh, along with... Uh, attacking the Italians in the Burgundy and the Jur War. So, yeah. Could get interesting to see how that turns out. Perhaps I get even more uh, targets to raid. Who knows? I'll probably visit Germany and raid them. They're so small that perhaps if I raid them, they will uh, break up into smaller pieces. Finally found another key while raiding, and let's see if the key will fit. <laughs> the key fits the lock and trembling with anticipation. You slowly open the chest. This probably it only contains a few parts. Scrolls that crumble to dust. Your touch. Yeah, a chest didn't work out. <laughs> This third time now I believe and uh, apparent to a uh, forum, forum post it's supposedly a 32 32 32 4 chance to uh, that's percentages to what's in the chest so yeah this is weird I'm also starting to think that uh, some people say the event are bugged so yeah perhaps it's perhaps it is the case but uh, we'll just have to keep trying there aren't really anything else we can do yeah this was uh, kind of a bitch they'll probably lose and I'll have to spend a little money in reinforcing them still shouldn't really be too much to worry about if I'm lucky they'll be able to uh, hold their own if not not a big deal yeah as expected they were uh, defeated they took down us pretty much as many men so we'll just have these guys march here I believe they will be able to beat a 25k force if those guys join though it could get interesting so yeah I'll just allow my archers to go and uh, and regain their strength more or less then I'll uh, continue raiding with them meanwhile I'll simply run around with these guys castles are uh, yeah these two uh, gave quite the poor profit but still can't complain it's it's free gold more or less so yeah Apparently these guys will join forces, so uh, hopefully I can send these guys in to uh, assist. Yeah, I have no idea what happened now. They only have 5,000 men. They had 25. Doesn't make much sense. I believe that he actually... Uh, yeah, he actually, he actually must have despawned his or armies. I can't really think of any other reason why he would do it. So, uh, yeah, I'll just... Uh, it's been a while since I actually have a peasant revolt now, so perhaps I had them all in uh, one cluster the last time or something. So, yeah, interesting. Still, as you can see, 5,000 men slaughtered without problem, 4,000 here. As long as you uh, actually focus your upgrades, you don't really have anything to worry about in uh, any aspect, really. So, yeah. I'll just uh, destroy the. Lotharingian army then I'll deal with the revolt and uh, 
Then I'll do some more raiding. We'll see when the time has come for Lithuania to join in on the Scandinavian Empire, which uh, is actually pretty good now. The Jura Empire is actually growing quite a lot. We have Ireland, we have Scandin <laughs> we have Lithuania. Poland will soon join, along with uh, Pomerania will join 13 years, England in 52, Wales in 21. As you can see, things are actually moving along uh, pretty nicely. We have uh, we have decent control more or less now. So I'll probably just start expanding like crazy, and probably start expanding in pretty much every direction. These guys started out a little revolt of their own while I was dealing with some rebels up here, and uh, yeah. We'll probably have to deal with that when uh, the time comes. I should probably declare war on this guy. He has actually uh, been able to... Uh... I can't actually declare war on him, but I can make him join me, so yeah. I should just go ahead and do that. He's Norse, Norse, so... Uh... Couldn't really have gotten much better, so to speak. Revolt is over, nice. Also, I got some technology points. I said, pop a point in legalism. Probably uh, do a point in each of these, simply for uh, for the research sake, so to speak. And I'll just wait for that guy to join us. Nice. Now our realm is uh, realm is growing quite nicely. They uh, they have taken some more land in uh, over here in Russia on their own. Can't really, can't really actually be mad at them for that because I've given the opportunity and they've grabbed it. So uh, yeah, this will probably be it for this episode. Next time I will, uh, I will do my best to actually consolidate, get this done. Didn't really get too much work done. Got more hung up on uh, raiding and upgrading holdings. Also decided what I wanted to do with my retinue here. It will be a defense retinue simply because I can use them for sieging and uh, fighting. At they'll be used for both. Also, with me taking much land, it will be important to have another uh, siege battle retinue running around and not just uh, relying on uh, on the house calls to do all the fighting. But uh, as I said, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, some criticism, praise, anything you want really, and I'll see you soon. Bye.